You want to know the secret to victory? Fail to make the varsity team. We're seeing a shift in marketing strategy nowadays where companies are developing campaigns that focus more on telling emotional, relatable, and visual appealing stories with the purpose of connecting their products to their audience and developing associations that generate brand loyalty. Less focus on what products do from a technical perspective and more on promoting a lifestyle while using these products, building and reinforcing associations that readily come to mind for consumers, and generating emotion through the product by creating relatable stories. Ultimately, it's about adding meaning to the name and product. Gatorade is excelling at this marketing approach and has created various advertisements and campaigns that successfully connect to their target audience. Gatorade's Secret to Victory campaign is just one example of creating meaning behind its name and product. The campaign is based around some of the world's most famous present and former athletes in which they explain how they failed during their careers and how they used defeat coupled with Gatorade to make successful comebacks. Michael Jordan failed to make his high school team, Serena Williams was at the wrong end of the greatest upset, and Matt Ryan lost to the Super Bowl after being up 28-3. All these athletes had to overcome their failures and continue to persevere to achieve success. Well, maybe not Matt Ryan just yet. Gatorade uses the theme of failure to connect with the audience because it's relatable. It is something that everyone has experienced, even those successful athletes who seem invincible at times. Gatorade wants their sport drink to be part of the road back to success for not just professional athletes, but also the everyday athlete. But you may be wondering, is it really the Gatorade that's helping an athlete succeed? Well, while it is difficult to find out scientifically if Gatorade actually made a difference in the success of an athlete, given the leagues and players they have partnered with who have gone on to be successful, it's easy to build the association. But this is what they want to get across to people. And when it comes to success, they've achieved substantial credibility. I mean, the company was established in 1965, and by 1969, they had already become the official sport drink of the NFL. They have successfully taken over all four major sport leagues and control 75% of the sport drink market. Their company achievements aren't the only examples of success. The Gatorade shower has become a symbol of victory in sports. All of this has made Gatorade an internationally known brand, and it has used advertising and sponsorship to create an awareness where the brand alone has become synonymous with sport drinks. Gatorade has become what Kleenex is to facial tissues. And although impressions are important in an era of mass marketing where the average viewer is bombarded with thousands of ads a day, does Gatorade really need brand awareness? Who doesn't know about Gatorade? So what type of ads will be most effective? Ads that involve a story allowing Gatorade to communicate a message in a way that drives emotion, generates intrigue, and helps build strong brand associations. Gatorade used to run ads with technical information as the centerpiece to the ad. When you exercise, you lose potassium, fluids, minerals. Gatorade Thirst Quencher helps put them back fast. That's why the pros drink it. That's but the problem with these ads is they don't connect with the audience emotionally. When it comes to mass-consumed products, Gatorade has come to understand that People aren't motivated to understand complex ads with technical information that are a little value to them. They want messages that are simple, easy to understand, and include emotional stories that will draw the audience's attention. And this is what Gatorade has done here, using persuasive, engaging cues such as successful, prominent athletes, bright colors, music, and a story to target mass consumers. These cues require a small amount of effort to understand, which helps people understand the overall message of the Secret to Victory campaign. Gatorade uses their team of athlete endorsers to communicate this message as they are recognizable fan favorites from a wide range of sports. They are also athletes with a strong following and have active influence over what their fans buy. Many people want to be like JJ Watt, so what will they do? They will buy Gatorade because that's what JJ drinks. There is also tremendous emphasis on Michael Jordan asking, you want to know the secret to victory? This creates a sense of intrigue because everyone would love to hear what Michael Jordan, arguably the greatest basketball player of all time, has to say about achieving victory. Michael Jordan has the most credibility when it comes to failure and success out of all these athletes shown in the ad, and there's a strategic placement of him at the beginning of the ad to attract people's attention. This commercial also uses special lighting techniques, like the scene where J.J. Watt is conveniently drinking Gatorade in a spot where the sun illuminates the bright blue fuel. 
This draws the audience's attention to the Gatorade to make it look appealing aesthetically and refreshing, but also show that Gatorade is a part of J.J. Watt's routine as an athlete. The music included starts slow to assist in connecting with the emotion felt when the athletes have experienced failure. Take a perfect team and blow a perfect seat. But then picks up at the end with the use of percussion instruments to show the comeback. Come on, one more. But how could one simply relate to any of these professional athletes in this ad. To a lot of people, athletes like Michael Jordan, JJ Watt, and Serena Williams are idols, but there's a lack of opportunity to relate to their success. Traditional athlete endorsement ads where athletes promote the product is great for perceived quality and for a company who wants to create separation in a cluttered market. However, Gatorade, with so much ownership of market share and brand recognition, they try to move past the traditional athlete endorsement. Gatorade positions these athletes in a way that people can relate to them and demonstrate how they have failed at some point just like us. They humanize these athletes who sometimes seem like gods and allow the audience to connect better with them. And if professional athletes who are just like us, who fail just like us, and are human just like us, use Gatorade to come back from failure, it will influence those regular athletes to do the same. So what is the point of all this? When you take intriguing, inspiring comeback stories that focus around the struggles faced by the world's most famous and well-known athletes, it brings them to a level that we can all relate to, as all athletes have failed considerably at one point in their careers. Then, when you add Gatorade to the mix, it builds the association that while these athletes have failed, they have reached success once again through hard work and Gatorade. And given that these athletes did find success after failure, it implies that Gatorade actually played a part. So now what do you have? You have the association that Gatorade leads to success and this in turn brings meaning and credibility to the product so that in the absence of price discounts, consumers will still choose Gatorade over other sport drinks. However, Gatorade needs to still continue to reinforce these associations going forward. Using different advertisements and campaigns that look to communicate a similar message but in a different way. Because Gatorade has been able to successfully build its association as a sport drink that builds champions despite times of failure, it needs to continue to prove this ability to the consumer. Within the ensuing marketing campaign, instead of using professional athletes, the use of actors representing the average athlete coming back from failure to achieve success using Gatorade would be a recommended future course of action. Gatorade's next marketing campaign could tell a story of the everyday consumer watching the Secret to Victory ad and then show how they were able to achieve success in a sport despite their own failure while using Gatorade. This will help Gatorade illustrate proof that they weren't lying when they said that they could help athletes discover their own Gatorade shower. So, you really want to know what the secret to marketing is? Well, Gatorade just showed you the answer.